Luma AI is about to blow your mind. I would like to repeat this one more time. Forget everything you know about AI video, cause Luma AI is about to blow your mind. We've got a real game changer on our hands here. An AI video generator so mind-blowingly advanced, it's going to make all those other AI tools look like they were created by a bunch of toddlers with crayons. Well, other than Sora, Kling, Google VO, that I am looking forward to try out soon. And the best part? It's completely free to try. This video is not a commercial or a hype of video like other marketing video you've seen. Let's try out this together. So, this is Luma Labs. They have created other AI models before, which focus on 3D rendering objects. Now, right here, we see this new, really good, high quality, and very consistent model. All the objects are coherent, even as the cameras are moving. This is their new AI video model called Dream Machine. You can see more information by clicking the manual at the top here. There are a lot of demos on this main page. As you can see, this level of video imagery is, to be honest, better than what we saw before. Maybe we have seen something similar using stable video diffusion, but they try to do a better fine tune or reskin the website as their own service. Lots of those AI generators are out there. But as you can see, Dream Machine from Luma Labs is way different. All this movement is actually the characters moving, not only camera panning motions for each scene in the AI videos. All the elements, clothing of characters and buildings are very coherent, even as the cameras move to different angles. The AI models actually understand what they do and understand the real world environments and physics. That's how they're able to create this kind of level of AI videos. I have tested several of these videos over the past couple of days. It is very jammed. You have to wait a few hours to generate one video clip, and that is not reasonable. After yesterday, it started getting back to the normal generation speed. As you can see, this is one of my creations here. I have done a very simple text prompt. I don't use long or crazy text prompts like a blog post. But it does what I expect, creating cinematic, ultra-realistic styles and futuristic computer labs, research labs, and different camera angles of this character. This woman and everything stay very coherent and consistent. The color of each character's outfit does not flicker like we saw in stable video diffusion. There's a lot of morphing and deformation of objects while frames transition. That doesn't happen much here. Well, I would say there are still some bad videos that cannot be used, but a lot of them are okay. For example, this one cannot be used because the character walking past those machines suddenly morphs. The face transitions from the back to the front in an unacceptable way for a video clip. But other than this one, I found that my other tests do a really good job using the text-to-video format. One thing I have to mention is that this tool are very simple. Right now, they don't have any complex stuff that requires testing or setting multiple configurations. No, it just has this text box. You type your text prompt here, and you can also use the image to video feature by clicking this image icon and uploading an image of your choice. It will allow you to use that image as the initial frame for the video clip. You can type some prompts to enhance the further actions of the character or how the video clip progresses in the next few seconds. Just press enter, and it will generate the whole video clip for you. So, it is really easy to use. It's not complex like you see in Comfy UI. I know a lot of people get scared when they see the Comfy UI workflow diagrams. Well, for me, Comfy UI workflow design is really easy to pick up compared with many other node-based workflow interface and enterprise software. It's okay, difference people, difference background, can't force everyone to have strong left and right brain operating together. But with these AI model, Dream Machine is really simple. Just type a text prompt, upload an image if you have one, and you can start creating your AI videos right away. And there are other styles besides realism. For example, I created a futuristic style. Although some elements are not clear in the background, every single building beside this character is so consistent, it doesn't deform. Even the characters themselves do not deform. It just walks by like this five second scene and everything looks so natural. If I'm making movies or films with a sci-fi futuristic style, it would be pretty good to use some video scenes like that. 
Here are some drama examples that I did. So it's pretty cool. It's not perfect. If you want to try this AI model to generate perfect video, it won't be happen honestly. There's still some morphing in the eyes, as you can see the eyeballs right here. But overall, the consistency and the different camera angles, you know, looking at this character and the other characters as well, it doesn't have this level of detail and intelligence compared to other AI videos we've experienced previously when AI first rushed into the market. This is one of the cool things we experience in our lifetime. The AI industry is getting better and better with each release of new AI models. Newer AI models perform better than others, and we can keep trying. Different AI models might not shock us, but they surprise us that we can use something like this at a very low cost and we can make AI movies and other video productions using very simple tools to create something like this. Look at this one. I feel like they are using some movies to train these AI models because some outfits look like Iron Man and that red battlesuit woman looks like a character from Marvel. I do feel like that in some way. Even in this shot, it looks like some movies that seem familiar. It doesn't look exactly the same, but something is familiar. I'm not sure how they train these AI models, but it does the job and performs better than other AI video generators. Why not use this, right? Right now, it's free to try out, and they have free credits every month to recharge your account. If they have more advanced features, I think I will still try their paid tiers to get more advanced features when they add new ones to this service. Right now, it's really simple. Just type a text prompt. That's the only thing you can control here. You don't need any special or advanced tutorials to teach you how to type and do text prompting. One really good thing is that the text prompt is not like how you do in AI images or other AI videos using keywords and commas. It actually uses natural language like this. Extreme close-up footage of a young soldier woman with a contemplative expression during a rainstorm. There's another button that can give you some random ideas for what you can create. Let's try this one, the fast FPV drone flying. This one should be really cool. I assume it would be something like a fast motion angles following behind the drone or using first sight from the drone perspective. Let's see if this generation is complete and we will check this one. I have generated a few scenes rather than just one using the FPV drone. Now let's check it out. This is the one we just did using the fast FPV drone fly-through of a European castle. It uses the first-person view to look through, going into the European castle. The whole thing shows the castle, the walls on the left and right, and even the ceiling at the top, especially here. It's very coherent. All the windows and everything are very consistent. We can bring this into another window tab and pause every frame to see all the details. In the first two seconds, as you can see, the tiles on the left and right of this castle are very consistent, even as the camera pans in from the drone. It is actually simulating a drone flying into the hall and right up to the ceiling. What I like is that they actually understand what is in this castle and what appears after the drone flies into it. Some other earlier developed AI video models would not be able to generate the ceiling or show something going through the door on the opposite side. There are also some lands and trees outside of this castle. If you try to use other AI video models, especially the earlier developed ones on the market, you won't be able to see those details in your generated video results. As you can see, the other decorations on the side wall here are also very coherent. The colors are very consistent, and the form and shape remain consistent throughout the whole video. One thing I have to mention is that right now these AI models only generate 5 second video clips each. I have tried out some similar videos using the Sora text prompt, something you might recognize when you see the result here. For example, this is one of the drone views of a cave near the sea. Although this is not the same result as Sora AI, it performs a lot better than other AI video models currently on the market. This is not some exclusive or limited access tool, it's fully open. You can log in with your Google account or just use your email and password to log in and play around with it. Right now, it's more practical, unlike the fairy tale models we've seen before. Let's check out the next one. I have done the cinematic astronaut wearing a red bike helmet. The output of the image is kind of blurry inside the helmet. The astronaut's face is not very clear, but that's okay. 
It does follow the whole text prompt instructions well. The instruction following capability of this AI video is pretty good. However, the presentation or the art of what appears in the outfit of this video should be improved a little. But you know, by text to the scene right here, everything already appears in this 5 second clip. So the AI model's instruction following is already pretty good, especially since it is open sign up. This is the next one. The coffee mug with two pirate ships battling. It's just a close-up shot zooming into the coffee mug. We cannot see the two battleships, but there's some smoke coming out indicating hot coffee smoke or battleship is burning. Here's one of the famous text prompts from Sora AI, the Tokyo woman walking. This is another style of this text prompt. You can check it out. Although this is not a very slow motion walk that follows the exact output of Sora AI by using the same text prompt, the generated output is quite good. The woman's face is very consistent, and throughout the 5 seconds, the face does not deform much. However, within 5 seconds, it won't be able to show a very detailed face, especially since the camera pans from the bottom up, showing the main character's face only in the last 2 seconds. There are a lot of buildings and banners behind her which are also very consistent. There is no morphing or any image frame differences like we often see in stable video diffusion. The red dress follows the prompt well. I don't think there's anything wrong with just using this prompt and having this output already. I think it's good enough for now at this stage because it just launched. Hopefully they will release newer versions of these AI models, getting better and better each time with new features. And this is another example from the pirate ship in a coffee, but it doesn't follow the instruction this time. So I consider this one a fail, you know, missing the cup of coffee where the two ships are sailing inside. It doesn't follow the text prompt in the last part. So far, the other results that I have done are pretty good, especially the one where the soldier dies and then the other buddy tries to help him. It's pretty cool from these scenes and I'm thinking that we can start doing AI video movies and AI movie frames just by using these tools. Since we generate all the video clips, we can cherry pick some good ones and even fine tune them after. So yeah, I hope this inspires you guys. In our Discord group, we have played around with it a lot already. If you are not in the Discord group, you guys can try it out and maybe come over and share your video result of using Luma Labs Dream Machine and have fun, brainstorm about AI tool, etc. Hope you guys like it. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.